I've made a bit of a mess. So the next game is going to be Commando. This is one of my Atari 7800 games. Some of the boxes I do have are in surprisingly good condition, considering how old they are. But if you look inside, they are actually quite flimsy. You don't really get much of an instruction manual. In fact, you can barely call it a manual. It's about... It is just one piece of paper folded over. But I suppose generally these games are simple enough that you don't need massive manuals. Now I do have some more Atari games. And just as a comparison, the Atari, the older Atari 2600 games have these massive manuals. Although to be fair, it is the same few pages over and over again in different languages. One thing I like about this cartridge is that it's just a little bit heavier than other Atari games. And the reason being, this game has a sound chip inside the cartridge. I modified my machine not long after I bought it to get a clearer picture. And I think the, the thing that I bought also amplifies the sound. Um, but I have a feeling that it doesn't affect the sound chip on the cartridge, uh, which is why the sound effects are a lot louder than the music. Alright, let's get into it. Now that is just like the arcade. Commando is a really simple game. It's the perfect sort of game to do a video like this of, to be honest. I didn't look at the instruction manual. Uh, so now I don't know what that knife does. I've never seen a knife power up in any of the other versions of this that I've played. I did practice this a little bit before I played the video because I had a feeling it might be quite difficult. You don't want to see me dying on the first level loads of times. This video is making me look good. And uh, I'm, I'm at the, the end of the first level already. It, it doesn't seem to have a problem putting all of these bullets and all of these enemies on screen at the same time. There's no flicker either. The company that made this version of the game, Sculptured Software, they do sound familiar so I, I looked them up a little bit and uh, the website that I'm on now is uh, Sega Retro so it only tells you about uh, Sega games that they've worked on. But they made Mortal Kombat 3 for the Mega Drive which is a game that I, I think is really really good for the Mega Drive. That's another arcade conversion. I guess they've got a history of really good arcade conversions. And they did a lot of WWF wrestling games. 
It's crashed. So, okay, I'll start again. Not long ago, the last time I had my Commodore 64 set up, I wanted to do a video of that version. My copy of Commando for the Commodore 64 is on a floppy disk and it stopped working, which is really disappointing. If I'm honest, this one's better. Uh, the music's not quite as... Um, it doesn't have an original remix of the commando theme like the Commodore 64 version has uh, but this one's got all the levels it seems to be you know this is really really polished I'm quite surprised by it I wonder if this is I wonder if this is the best game on the machine You know, when I bought this game, I bought a copy of Karateka as well, and I was expecting that to be really good because I've seen videos of it on other machines. But the the Atari ones really cut down to the point where it doesn't have all the scrolling from left to right and things like that. It just seems to be a really basic one on one fighter. But this, this is brilliant. So I don't know the details of exactly what this machine can do, what little I've read about it. It seems like this machine is about on par with other 8-bit machines out there. Um, it seems to be able to, like I said, it seems to be able to put quite a lot of stuff on the screen. It does slow down a little bit, but not much. It kind of looks like a Commodore 64 game, but with more colours. The, the colours are not very bright, are they? But then again, I don't know if that's a, a style choice or whether the machine just has dark colours. All right, I'm getting to the second level boss here. Well, boss, um, the end of level section. And it's crashed again and a lot worse than last time. Well, I think I'll have to end the video here then. Crashing aside, this is a really good game. And if you have an Atari 7800, I would highly recommend it. And that's the end of the video.